The Undertaker is a true phenomenon. He's six foot ten and weighs over 300 pounds. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's in big trouble. Oh man, does he have that arm submission in tight? Oh, he's gonna have to block out the pain if he hopes to escape this. Look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. You know, even when he was just starting out in WWE, Brock Lesnar was already a champion. He came straight off an incredible college career where he won the national heavyweight title. And just two years after that, he was lifting the WWE championship. Oh, Lesnar wasted no time making the leap from amateur freak to professional beast. Well, on the topic of The Undertaker here, tell us your thoughts. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? Oh, Michael, Brock Lesnar's got a lot of years left in him yet. Don't think the Beast isn't going to be wearing some more championships around his waist by the time he heads home to Minnesota for good. It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Yeah, the fight is on for dominance. I'm not sure I can watch this. Lesnar in total control. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, man. When that's locked in, the pain is excruciating. Yeah, I can just see the expression on his face. He's hurting. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. I think if I had to pick two words to sum up Brock Lesnar and the attitude he brings with, I'd go with intense and intensity. I mean, he's a performer who's always looking as if he's on the verge of it, exploding with rage. Now, I'm not sure what it is that's always got him so wound up, but then there's that energy in Brock Lesnar that not a lot of other superstars have. And again, he gets struck with that object. Another shot for good measure. Oh, they have the steps again. Oh, my God. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Oh, watch out. Two major blows with that weapon did significant damage. If this isn't enough to win the match, I don't want to know what's going to happen next. Quick thinking to avoid that. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. You know, Brock didn't get to where he is by doing things at half speed, Michael. This is a superstar who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. They don't call him the Beast Incarnate for nothing. And his heartless attack continues. Oh, man, this is getting tough to watch. Got him hooked. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, keep working. Now with complete control. He's looking to create some separation here. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. You know, after all my years of being at the broadcast position, I have to say, I think Undertaker is arguably the best striker in WWE. When you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man, it never ends good. The power from Death Valley is just too much for WWE superstars to handle. Yeah, but the Undertaker doesn't just look to stand and strike with his opponent. He looks to devastate and punish his opponent. 
that's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Whoa, get out of the way. When an opponent launches an attack like that, it lets you know they're pulling out all the stops. You have to assume that tonight is one of the favorite nights of the year for the referees, right? I mean, there's practically no rules to enforce. The only thing they have to worry about is declaring a winner. You know, thinking about the striking skills we were talking about, The Undertaker is such a veteran in the ring, it's just hard to get momentum in a match against a man of his caliber. I mean, he's fought so many timeless battles in his illustrious career. He literally can foresee what, well, what methods his opponent will take before they can even decide their strategy in any given match. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Well, we're on the move here. Showing an aggressive side here. One thing I wanted to mention about The Undertaker, something that is always often overlooked, is that he can withstand superhuman amounts of punishment. You cannot just come into the match, put a beating on him, and expect to get the win. You have to find some other way to go at this guy because pain alone is not enough to take out the dead man. Now back to the ring. Oh, watch out! It was in this very city of Memphis, Tennessee, that Big Show made his WWE debut back in February 1999. Nice double underhook suplex. When I think of historical WWE, one thing I return to is Undertaker. Hoping to end it early. Here's hoping. And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Oh, Undertaker, he can't believe that almost happened. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh, man, what impact from that suplex. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. out of the way. Watch it! Undertaker, can he hit it? Wow, what a reversal by Lester. Yeah, I know they call him the Beast, but that was just beautiful. And talking about the Hell in a Cell match, the thing that got me was Undertaker throwing mankind off the steel cage into the Spanish announcer table. Everyone thought the match was over. The EMT staff was in the middle of taking Mankind out of the match when Mankind jumped off the stretcher and walked back to the cell with a smile ear to ear and climbed the cage again. He's trying to fight back here. Can he do it? He might have been down, but not out. We've seen this before. On Can he score the pin? Two. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Nearly driven through the mat. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Choke slam. Oh. The Undertaker's gonna put him in the grave right here. The Undertaker's gonna have his opponent resting in peace. Well, I'll tell you something else, Cole. He's got a win. Man, he's gotta feel great. Here's your winner, The Undertaker!
This one's over, folks. Undertaker picks up the win.